So this is Dr. Mercola, and today we're going to talk about how to satisfy your sweet tooth without destroying your health. So I don't know about you, but I certainly have a sweet tooth, and I think most of us do. It's, it's really, from what I understand, an adaptive advantage, and, and unfortunately it's been, been uh, gotten out of control and uh, because we have access to all these foods, these sugars, these processed foods that really uh, disturb our insulin levels and cause us to gain large amounts of fat. So, um, you know, so the question becomes, how do we satisfy that, that su sweet tooth? And, and uh, earlier this year, I was uh, pondering this dilemma and realized that fat, healthy fat, is one of the best ways to do that. And uh, so I was thinking about that and realized that coconut oil is, is a phenomenal component to that. So I thought I would, uh, and then I recently became uh, excited about the benefits of chocolate, at least healthy chocolate, raw cacao specifically, that is full of potent uh, anti uh, antioxidants and bioflavonoids uh, that uh, can really help reduce inflammation and a whole variety of other components. And so I thought it would, I'd, it was challenged to uh, find a way to integrate that, th those two uh, healthy foods into my life, into my lifestyle. So I thought of creating a sort of chocolate treat. And what I did initially was melt coconut oil and put raw cacao powder and some, some healthy natural uh, sweeteners in there. So, uh, and that worked, but then I revised that and I want to revise it to actually use cocoa butter, raw cacao butter actually. And, the, um, and I want to share with you uh, the recipe that I've come up with because I've been revising it for the last few months and I think I've gotten some little tweaks that I'd like to share with you because I think many of you would find it useful and to create a healthy treat to satisfy uh, your sweet tooth and that of your families. So let's talk about some of the ingredients we can use. Okay, now that we know all the benefits and advantages of having a healthy treat, especially with healthy chocolate, let's begin to start the process of preparing it. Now, the, we'll start with the two central ingredients, which is the, the bulk of the chocolate candy, which would be, uh, you can use a variety of different fats, but the primary one is uh, raw c uh, cacao butter, and it is a solid, and it and it's, uh, comes in chunks like this, and this just happens to be about the right size chunk, uh, chunk. Uh, but if it's, if, it, if it's a larger one, you can certainly cut it and split it and use whatever size you feel is appropriate for you. But, but it's a solid at room temperature and it actually remains a solid until about 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So we have to melt it to make it usable. And I just, uh, what I've learned is that it melts pretty easily uh, in a, 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 a sort of a, a, a improvised double boiler. And, the, and this actually, the chocolate is from... Um, it's raw, it's raw and it's organic, and, and in this particular case, it's from Ecuador and fair traded. So that's about as good as we can get. Um, and then we have to heat, melt this. So the way we melt it is to, I, I like to use our, our, one of our pots, the ceramic uh, cookware, uh, and pans actually that we put it in. And we, uh, you can actually uh, get a Pyrex container and put that in the, um, enough water in there so it just doesn't overflow and then uh, you can put it on the stove and melt it. Um, now the other component you can use is coconut oil. And coconut oil uh, melts at a lower temperature. It's, it's, uh, it, it's uh, solid until about 76 degrees Fahrenheit, which is close to room temperature. So you can usually take about equal parts of both. Uh, and there is no specific right or wrong amount to use on this. You just have to sort of experiment and play with it. And this happens to be our own coconut uh, butter, or coconut oil, uh, but you can use any high quality one, just make sure it's organic and, and free of contaminants and, and, and really high quality. So this will actually uh, allow you to get some of these medium chain triglycerides in there into, along with the, the cocoa butter. So. That seems to be about the right, right amount for both. And you can see it's a, maybe a little bit more of the cocoa butter because the cocoa butter is, is not going to melt as readily, so it'll be easier to handle when, you're, when you have the finished product. So now we have to melt this, and I'm going to um, 
to do that now, normally as you would put this on a stove, put this in a container and just let the water, it, it's sort of medium to low medium heat. And it takes about 10 minutes or so to melt this to a liquid. So I'm going to do that now, and then we'll get back to and show you how it looks in the melted state. Okay, now we've melted the, the raw fat material, which is the cocoa butter and the coconut oil. Now another fat that you can put in here and that I just didn't show and demonstrate in this video is uh, raw organic grass-fed butter. And you could uh, vary the mixtures, uh, but I like to usually, uh, most of the time I'll be incorporating that. I just didn't do it for this video. Um, so we, here's our, the, so that, that will give you the base ingredient. And, and what really makes it chocolate is, is raw cacao powder. And you can get that a lot of different places, your health food store or on Amazon. And just make sure it's organic. And I like to get, make sure it's also fair traded. But what I do is take about a, a, a heaping cup, uh, one eighth of a cup, and I just pour this into the melted mixture. Maybe even a little bit more, because I had put a little bit more uh, of the oils in for this demonstration. And then there is a sweetener that you can use. Uh, and I like to use one, I've been experimenting one called Lohan. That's L-O-H-A-N. And uh, you can get it as a powder. And it's very similar to sugar. And I like to put like three of these teaspoons, or the three of the measuring scoops in there. Not a teaspoon. And actually, I'm getting close to the end of it. And may as well finish it off in there. So you can see this. We're not measuring this precisely. It's just a, you know, it's sort of an approximation. Uh, and then another one that you can use is cinnamon. I like cinnamon. Of course, it's, it's a healthy, beneficial spice. And I may be use a sixteenth of a, a cup in there. And just pour the cinnamon in. And then there's three other elements that finish it. You can use a, uh, a liquid stevia product, and they come in different flavors. Uh, this one happens to be chocolate, so it even enhances the chocolate flavor. And I just put that right in. Uh, and a mint is another one you can use. This is just a general store brand of mint. Put a little mint in there for flavoring. And some pure vanilla extract. So you don't have to put any of these in there. Really, the only ones you really need are the raw cacao powder and the sweetener, which would be either Lohan or Stevia or both, like I just used. So, uh, and then you can, you know, if you like the cinnamon or the uh, the mint or the vanilla, then you can certainly use those. Now, I'm going to um, stir this and completely. Now it's mixes nice and smooth. Now, what you can do, um, the, the easiest and simplest way, once you have this mixture all dissolved, is to pour it into a plate, a simple dinner plate, and, and then you'll have a, a, a a flat sheet of the chocolate, then you could transfer the dinner plate into the refrigerator. And typically within a half hour to an hour, it'll be solid. And you can crack it into small pieces. Now, alternatively, what you could do is you can get a mold. And you, you can get these available pretty much any type of baking store. I got this on Amazon. And they're made out of silicon. And then what you can do is you can have this Pyrex container, and you can pour that into the mold. So let me see that the, the, the uh, coconut butter was just about all melted. I think it's melted now. You can do. This is still a little hot, so I'm going to uh, take it out and transfer it with a container. Move this over. Okay, 
You can see it's really nice and homogenous. Looks just like dark chocolate sauce. So this is ready to be prepared now. Pour these into the mold. Fill it out to the top. It's got a lot of, a lot of nice different shapes. So when it cools, you just pop it right out. And then you'll have all these different really elegant decorate, decorative candies that you could use. And it's healthy. It is totally healthy because it's got these, these raw healthy fats. And the beautiful things about fats is they tend not to, you know, and there's no sugar in here, remember, it's just all natural sweeteners that uh, are, are zero calories. The beautiful thing about fat is that it doesn't stimulate insulin release. And we know that insulin release and insulin resistance is the primary reason that we have that we gain weight and, and is contributing to the obesity epidemic. So really a healthy treat. And you can, I probably have too much of this, but it's, I have pretty much as, you know, since I figured this out about six months ago, and you can be a little sloppy here. It's a little, best not to be, but I'm not hitting these holes like I was supposed to, should be. Ideally, you don't want to strip any, but if you do, it's not the end of the world. And you just fill these up. And uh, actually, it occurred to me that um, one of the disadvantages of this mold is that it's really flexible, so that it's really hard to transfer it. So I typically have a st steel um, tray that I put underneath this, because otherwise it just flops all over the place until it's, it, uh, when it's liquid, it's a problem because it could spill. This is, as you'll see, is a lot easier to do. You just pour it right into a dinner plate, and then you're done. Now, there's still a little bit of items that aren't melted yet, but that's fine. And then all you do is transfer these into the refrigerator, and it will turn solid, and you can crack it and open it up and then enjoy it. I think you'll really like it. It's been a, a real delight for me to have this treat. And as I said, it's really made of mostly a fat, so it doesn't stimulate your insulin release. And as a result, you can, it's not, remember, it's not so much the calories, it's the type of calories which will cause you to gain weight. So this pretty much this is a guilt-free treat that can really help satisfy your sweet tooth and help you and your family continue to take control of your health.